If you're like me, you are at your most productive when you have a dual monitor setup. For me, when I'm on the go and I have my MacBook, it can really slow me down when I just have that one screen. But if you have an iPad Pro, you can now use that as a secondary monitor. Of course, you can do this with most iPads, but I think it looks best when you do it with the iPad Pro 12.9. Here's a simple tutorial on how to make your iPad and your MacBook into a dual monitor setup that will help you stay productive on the go. So let's talk tech. The first thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that your iPad and your MacBook are up to its most latest software update. Once that's all situated and everything's up to date, go to the Apple logo at the top left corner of the screen and go to system settings. And once that shows up, you will see displays somewhere on the sidebar there. And from there, you'll see your MacBook as the built-in display, but you might already see your iPad as well. If you don't, just click on this little plus button right here and you should see your iPads that are available and near your MacBook right now. And once that shows up, you are actually able to rearrange it. So if you have it set up to your left or to the right, whatever, you're able to arrange it the way you need it to be arranged. So that's pretty cool. But there is a quicker way in doing that so you don't have to go through system settings. Just go to the top right corner. You will see the control center, which is those little toggles that you can switch on and off. You'll see your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, but on the, on the right side, you'll see screen mirroring. You click on that, you'll see the iPads near you, near your MacBook that you're able to use as a monitor. And once you click on that iPad that you wanna use, you'll, you'll get an option to either use it as a separate display or as a mirror of your display on your MacBook. But obviously here for this situation, we wanna click use as a separate device. And there you go, as simple as that, you're able to use your iPad Pro and your MacBook together as a productivity dual monitor system on the go. The cool thing, if you don't wanna use it as a dual monitor and you just wanna control your iPad with your current mouse and key, you could really just do that. If you have your iPad next to your MacBook, you can simply just spill over and you'll see a little sidebar on your iPad, kind of as if the cursor is trying to push through this barrier and it works. I think the duo of the 13 inch MacBook Pro and the M1 iPad Pro 12.9 is a great duo. Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful by leaving a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos and tutorials like this. And if you wanna learn more tips and tricks about your iPad or just which iPads to get, make sure to subscribe to our channel for videos like this. And I have a full review on the 12.9 iPad Pro M1 if you're interested in that right here. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.